If it seems that there is an issue with the driver you installed in your Mac OS, we recommend that you reinstall the driver. Before we begin, make sure that you have administrative control as you follow these steps. First, we will perform our system reset. Go to the Apple menu on the top left and select System Preferences. Click on the Printers and Scanners icon. For our demonstration, we will click on the CPD70DW from the list. Hold down on the control key on your keyboard and click on your corresponding printer. Select Reset Print System from the menu. Click Reset. It may take a few moments. If prompted, enter your login password. When the printing system has reset and there are no more printers in the list, go ahead and restart your computer. Once the computer has booted back up, Start the terminal. You can go to the search bar on the upper right and type terminal. Open up the driver folder. If you deleted the driver folder, you can download it again from our site at me-vis.com. Open the driver DMG file. From here, you'll see the installer package and the shell file. Drag the shell file into the terminal. Press enter on the keyboard. When a password is required, enter the password for the administrator. Once the uninstallation is completed, a message will ask you to reboot the computer. Enter Y and press Enter to reboot the computer. If the computer is not rebooted automatically, exit the ongoing applications and reboot the computer manually. Navigate into your desktop and locate the folder. Open the driver DMG file. Follow through the installation process as shown to install the driver. Click Continue. Agree to the terms. Click Continue. Click Install. If prompted, enter your login password. Click Continue Installation. Restart the Mac when prompted. At this step, power on the D70 and connect it to the Mac via USB. Go to the Apple menu on the top left and select System Preferences. Click on the Printers and Scanners icon. Select the installed printer in the printer list and click Open Print Queue button. Click the Repair button to set the access privilege for the printer driver. Enter your login password. In the event that there is an error, there are a few key points to check, one of which could be a problem in the USB, and another could be in printing an incorrect print size. 